I've always been something of an animal activist, but mainly behind the scenes, raising money at charitable events. But now, in my role as a trustee of the Born Free Foundation, I'm about to experience conservation on the front line. My introduction into the world of the Rothschild giraffe begins in Kenya's capital, Nairobi. It's an unlikely place for giraffes, but on the outskirts, eight semi-tame Rothschilds live in considerable comfort at the famous Giraffe Manor and Education Centre. The manor is modelled after a Scottish hunting lodge and was originally built as a private home. But in 1974, the stage was set for the creation of the first ever Rothschild sanctuary when Daisy was rescued from land being cleared for farming. In those days, capture was done on horseback with lasso and plenty of physical effort. Who would have guessed that almost 30 years later, Daisy's memory would live on to become the figurehead for giraffe conservation in the wild. Today, the sanctuary helps finance itself as a hotel where guests and owner Rick Anderson share their space with Daisy's offspring, who, it has to be said, have an insatiable appetite for horse nuts. This is one of the most famous of the giraffes in the world. This is her on the front cover of Harper's. This is Arlene. Korean magazine made the front cover there again. Is that you, honey? Can't tell who that is. So they're quite used to it. They're very, very sweet to work with. Very, very beautiful. Slightly hairy lips. What's her character like? She's the gentlest of the lot. Her mother was a very small giraffe, and unfortunately we lost her giving birth the second time. And I think maybe that's had something to do with her character, that she lost her mother at quite a young age, but she's always been very, very sweet, very, very gentle. But was she bottle-reared, or no, she'd grown? No, she, she had, she had just sort of weaned. weaned. So she never needed bottle. Have they all got very different personalities? Well, I would think very different personalities, but they're def different animals. I mean, some are gentler than others, some come quick, some are slow, uh, some are just very wriggle and, and stand back. I mean, Jock is a very gentle male. Mm. Um, I think it's because he's so happy here. But yes. uh... They all seem happy here, and with an endless supply of horse nuts, why not? So sweet and so delicately taken, and the sweetest breath, like a kind of... Little sweet pony. You are a sweet girl, because it can't be much more fun not taking it out of my mouth, but I'm going to do one more. How fitting that the word giraffe comes from the Arabic, zarafa, meaning charming or lovely one.